Brian Labrie, Apparatus Operator of Heavy Rescue 3 A Shift. Today we're here at the uh, second day of our auto education class. And we got our uh, students going to be cutting apart this car and rolling the dash forward and doing a partial uh, peel back on the roof. We have Apparatus Operator uh, Brian Labrie from the Heavy Rescue. Uh, he's going to be directing the students on uh, proper cutting techniques for uh, and, and procedures for the uh, students. We're going to start with a uh, pinching of the fender. Pinching of the fender gives us the ability to gain access to uh, hinges so that we can uh, push away and it also gives us a uh, visual with the ability to see where the McPherson strut tower is at so that in case we have to do a relief cut there, we have that ability. As you can see, by pinching the fender, it gives us a purchase point to the ability to push away the fender. And it pushes away the fender a little bit. We just want to make sure nobody's in the area. Where the other side. They now take the, the guy with the spreader to go the opposite side so that the next person comes in because he has access to the hinge. We'll come in with the cutters and cut the top of the hinge. If you can include the wiring loom, great. If not, no worries, it's just going to be an extra cut so that we can remove the door. One of the things that we want to uh, participate is making sure that we have glass management, uh, making sure that gets taken care of. Um, so. Um, so that it works. One of the glass managements, there you go. We want to control the glass so that it doesn't damage anyone that's inside and or the rescuers. Step away from the door. And they're just going to put in the tool there, give us a little more access to the bottom hinge. Door pop. If it happens, that's fine. The idea is not to create too much of a jostle for inside for the patient. They gain access to the nader bolt or the hasp, the door hasp. We spread just enough to gain access to the uh, latching hasp so that we can get the cutters in there and cut. We want to do as minimal amount of uh, jostling to the vehicle due to ceasefire prescript uh, precautions. You want to go ahead and finish taking out all the glass. Yeah, I've used this one. Oh, try the try the spring one. That's the best one you got. There you go. Cut the roof partially so that we can do a roof. Uh, so we can do a dash push that doesn't uh, mess with the integrity of the bead post so that if we have to push off the B-post to gain access, then so be it. We try to make the uh, relief cut on the A-post uh, between the hinges, you try and incorporate the wiring loom hole so that there's less material to cut. And so therefore, it makes it a little bit more advantageous uh, for the tool to work. Comes around, takes one half of the cut. You want to get in the habit of pushing up and pushing down after you've completed the cut. It helps move the, the tool around and then open up the tool, come back around and finish the cut. 
dive in the dive in the blades and so that you're just trying to interrupt the strength of that b pulse before it hits the rocker panel and continues on we're doing a uh, what's called a fender cut due to the uh, strong uh, the integral part of the the uh, fender that holds up in case on our dash push we need a, a place for it to go if the mcpherson strut mount is against the firewall this is not a successful uh, operation uh, you should be doing but if it, the mcpherson strut is facing a little bit forward on the vehicle then it's, it's a good operation then we move we have to make sure that we mirror both sides of the uh, operation the cuts so that um, that we do it properly. The student is now gaining access to the hinges again on the driver's side. He's cutting it up. Once the hinges are cut, sometimes just lifting the uh, handle of the door, releasing the latch may work and getting the door open. For most vehicles that have been compromised, uh, I want to make sure we hit the wiring loom and the uh, door uh, limiting strap and or limiting uh, mechanism away. Okay, it comes off. Once again, they're continuing doing the relief cut on the uh, crumple zone fender mount. This is a, if you don't need to make this step, uh, this is, we're just demonstrating on where you would cut. It's behind the McPherson strut and you just want to bust the integrity so that we have a place for the, the uh, dash to roll and pivot on. The scenario here is that we have a driver uh, inside the vehicle that had, you know, was involved in a car accident. So if you'll, you'll notice after uh, this cut and then the top A-post cut along the windshield, this windshield has been compromised and is in on the uh, passenger side. If we have any compromise of the windshield where it's falling into the patient, we go ahead and we allow that, uh, we remove the windshield then. If three sides of the windshield are still intact, we're going to leave it there and not take the time and effort to have it removed. So. We'll finish with the A post cut and then we need another relief cut to do a partial fold back. And if you notice our B post is still intact because we're not sure if we're going to need that to uh, make the cut. Uh, to excuse me, push the dash. dash starts to go up. Hold it. Make your relief cuts. Get down to If you notice the dash started to roll up and then stopped. Take that out. Take that out. 
Uh, it stopped rolling in what we call butterfly. In other words, the side started to come up, but the dash wasn't rolling up. So therefore, we have to do relief cuts near the, um, in the center console, the straps that are, are tied to the uh, A post or the boron bar that goes across the dash that gives it st structural integrity. These sometimes can be done blindly if you get an opportunity um, and so forth. But check, get, get the glass out of the way. Glass. Did, did they get relief cuts on the uh, straps? No, still holding. There we go. Just that simple strap holds down the dash, keeping us from rotating and rolling the dash or pushing the dash. Okay, so there's a prime example of doing a dash roll using a ram on one side, spreaders on the other side. So most of the time, if you make the proper cuts, you can get away with doing the, the uh, ram on the one side and be all done. You're good, you're good. Right there, hold it. If you're, you had extensive more patience inside there, you could go ahead and cut the B post, C post, and do a complete uh, roof removal and get those patients out. But this is the basics where we want all our guys starting. Uh, obviously, we can adjust, adapt, and, and do other ideas in other locations, but we want to at least have the bare minimum of this.